Welcome back everyone, it is Kitten Caboodle and today I'm going to do a review on a brush set from Morphe Brushes. I received these brushes a few months ago, really wanted to test them out, try them under an array of circumstances, using them with cream products, with powders, with dry products, um, how they held up when you washed them. I took these when I was traveling with me to the beach and was able to use them with both liquid and dry products and I've been using them ever since and I think that I'm ready to give you guys a full overview and give you the information you'd need to make a decision on whether you'd like to purchase these particular brushes. Now the set that I have is a synthetic, I mean is a deluxe Italian badger set and it's set number 514, it is $48.74 and this is natural fibers, meaning this is animal fibers. Now the company is cruelty free and they do offer synthetic brushes for you vegans who do not use animal fibers. They have an array of different brushes. It's actually, in my opinion, from what I've seen from other brush companies, the largest selection of brushes. They have not only retractable brushes, meaning they come with covers for people who travel a lot or maybe, you know, carry them in their makeup bags and don't want makeup everywhere, but they also have disposable brushes for people who are doing freelancing or who are makeup artists. And this brush, this video is going to be very helpful for any of you guys looking to possibly either get into freelancing yourself and you don't want to invest a large amount of money on Mac or Smashbox or brushes of that nature. Or maybe you're just looking, you know, to get a gift for somebody. To start out, I don't know if it's a regular on their site, but right when you log on, it'll tell you at the top heading that there's free shipping on, on orders $100 or more, so that is really great. They do sell also private label um, brushes, so if you're starting a cosmetic company and you want the name of your company on your brushes, they can help you out with that. They also did have, which I thought was really amazing, automatically when I was looking at their black handle brushes. They have two dupes of the brush that came out with the Blonde Brunette Redhead Collection, and it is called the C150, and it ranges from $4.95 to $5.95. So already off the bat, I not only saw one MAC dupe, but they have many MAC dupes on the site, and they're extremely <coughs> affordable. They're really great quality brushes. They're probably the best quality that I have experienced in a, br in a brush, in these standard, you know, brushes that you see a lot of different companies carry. Morphe Brushes actually has the, not only the best selection, but the best quality. And I've shopped with many different brush companies because I kind of have, that's my main obsession. I have a lot of brushes. So to get started, I'm going to show you the set, and then I'm going to give you kind of an overview on what I experienced when I used them. The first brush you're going to get is the IB102 Powder Dome, and this is going to be an, a great all-over face brush for maybe applying your translucent powder or even your blush. And it's a little, it's larger. Then you're going to get the IB105 Tapered Blush, which is going to be great for the apples of your cheeks. I also use this to kind of stipple on um, liquid foundation, but you can just use it on the apples of your cheeks. There's the IB103 Flat Bronzer, which is going to be great for applying mineral foundation and buffing it in, as well as buffing bronzer in. You also get the IB117, which is the oval lip brush, and it is long handled, which is great. A lot of lip brushes are very short handled, which for me can be very annoying. There is the IB113 Tackle On Liner, which is a great angled liner for your liquid liners or your fluid lines. There is the IB108 Oval Shadow, which is going to be great for packing on color to the lid as well as it's large enough to highlight that brow bone. And then there is a round crease which is the IB116 and that's stiff enough but yet soft enough because it's Italian badger to get in that crease and not irritate that crease. And then it comes with the IB123 foundation which I have not used. And the IB130 flat liner camo, so it's a flat eyeliner as well as you can use it to conceal those pimples. And then the IB121 Flock Sponge, which is that sponge, but I also noticed that it doesn't have that plastic in the middle, which can tend to poke out and make the sponge rip and have a hole in it. So I'm going to leave those last three brushes out of the review because I can't honestly say anything about them. I haven't tried them. 
for the brushes I did try, these brushes are going to give you, in my opinion, a more, more of a wash, a light coloring. They're not going to make your products go on extremely pigmented, and I think it's because it is the natural fiber of Italian Badger, so it is a very soft, very silky consistency. So you're not going to get like those really, really heavy, you know, pigments. It's going to be more of a natural look that you get with these brushes. Now, if you're somebody who has extremely sensitive skin, that is going to be a plus for you because they're soft. They're not going to irritate your skin. But if you're somebody who really wants color to go on there with, you know, with ease, like bright colors, it might not work for you. I don't know. You might have a different technique. So it's definitely something that might be just something that I'm experiencing. Now, I did use these, like <coughs> I said, with both liquid and powders. With liquids, I did notice a shedding. Now, some brushes that are natural fibers don't shed when you use liquid foundation. Some do. And I think these did because they are very silky brushes, like I said. But they definitely did give me that airbrush finish. I used both of these with liquid foundation, the flat bronzer as well as the tapered blush. And I did notice that shedding. It wasn't anything ridiculous, but I was, you know, like picking a hair out. Other than that, these brushes, I would definitely say they are, for the set, they are worth the $48.74. They have different kinds. They have black handled brushes, which I prefer more. I like that more classic, um, professional look. But if you're somebody who maybe likes a lot of natural colors, this has a brown, kind of like a wood grain handle. These are definitely worth it, and I would definitely give them um, out of, from a scale of one to five, I would definitely give them five stars. They are worth it. They're excellently crafted. You can tell when they come, they are pristine. And you can go like this and no hairs are coming out. These are excellent brushes. And I would definitely recommend this company. They are, the, the people that they have currently working for them are extremely professional. They care about their customers. Um, I had an earlier experience that was not a good one, and they definitely cared that I did not have a good experience. They definitely reassured me that that was not how their company, you know, did business, and they have been, you know, excellent ever since. Um, you know, I had questions and such, and they definitely took care of them. So I definitely recommend checking out Morphe brushes. These are some of the brushes they have. And they also have school discounts, which I'm not sure what that means, but you can check their website. Their email, I'm sure, is there, and you can contact them for more information. They are said to be the largest line of cosmetic and aesthetic brushes in Southern California. And they are in Burbank, California at 626 South Victory Boulevard. And their website is www.morphebrushes.com. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And I want to thank Morphe Brushes for having such a wonderful product and for allowing me to try them and review them honestly for you guys. So thank you. And if you have any questions whatsoever, just leave them below. Do not be shy. Bye, guys.